Nice gloves. Thanks. Twice the, twice the hands, twice the power. Just rob them of all their stock. I mean, they should keep better stock. Home Depot. We come to this Home Depot and draw a thunder block. Sorry. <laughs> people ask why we're getting rid of these wooden garden beds it seems like they're in good shape they're obviously built fairly well so when we built these this long side did not have enough support and it busted apart so essentially it is warped and bowed and just does not look great I like how good we are at building things so good the finally done demoing all this trash has to go somewhere. It's fine, figure it out. But now I can actually start building. This stick here is for the sprinkler system. We had a, like a tube running throughout, which is nice. I guess we'll do the same thing. I don't know, we'll see. But um, I have to now level all of this out. We've leveled it before, kind of. We more did like a trench where the wood would sit. So I have to level it out with gravel. Um, if you saw the other video of this fountain back there, um, it's essentially the same thing, but I'll try to show a little more because Steve did all of that and I'll just try to show a little bit more detail. But that's what I'm doing now is going to put gravel down but it's not going to go the full span like the other one it's just going to go to this post because we're going to be building an outdoor kitchen here and I'd like to leave that open for space and I'm not going to be doing another um like wall of plants <sighs> I'm either going to do like an edible garden back there or just some like shrubs We'll see. My first block placed, and this is the most important part. This is completely level, so I'm looking at this one and this one. It has to be level both ways. So we're gonna start here and then start going down the line. Let me show you how I got this one level. So I'm gonna take this block place it here. Okay, I can already tell it's sitting lower than this one. So I'm just going to start building it up by adding the pebbles underneath. Okay. So I added like a layer there. Okay. That feels Good with that one. I also don't want a gap, so I'm very close to one another. And then I'll start leveling by just hitting it with my mallet. I'm gonna put this on. So it's too high on this side. So this side and this side are too high. So now I can just take off a little bit on these two corners, two sides, and see what that does. Now it's too low here because it's not matching up with that one. It's a process. Leveling this first layer of cinder blocks took 
forever, but it'll be worth it. So all the blocks are set. I leveled each and every one of them. It really wasn't that bad. Um, I have the pea gravel. I need to get some sand to put in between the gravel and then that'll kind of lock it in place and it won't move. Um, and then I'm gonna take up each block and construction adhesive them together so they're not individual pieces and they'll be together in one solid piece. Be very careful when you're removing not to change the level. So now that we've taken the time to level all of these, it did take some time. It was kind of a pain, but it wasn't really that bad. And these are all the ones we have to level because now this is 100% level. All I have to do is stack the rest of the cinder blocks, just glue them together and it's done. Well, okay, the construction of it is done. There's still more to do. The main thing you want to know when you're creating your pattern here is to not line up the blocks. So that's why I have this half block here so that they're staggered. I started the end with this one. You don't really have to do this. It's just kind of what I did. But I added the half block so that they wouldn't line up perfectly. So there's the crack here, crack here, and it creates a much more structurally sound structure. All the supplies that I've used in this project are linked below in the description. I'll tell you what, it's getting much harder to DIY with these kiddos because, you know, my oldest, he is great, but the baby needs a lot more attention. And so I've just been able to do stuff during nap time, which is like two hours a day maybe. And so now I'm rushing to the store because I ran out of cinder blocks and I am trying to make it back in time before the baby wakes up because Steve is working and can't handle the baby too much. DIY mom life. Our main structure is built but these little holes don't really do well for plants and I don't want it to look like cinder blocks. So what we're gonna be doing is taking these, they're uh, block caps, they're two inches by eight inches by 16. So it's the same size, but the thickness is only two inches and I'm gonna be creating a wall, gluing those on there as well, and then it won't even look like cinder blocks. So just to attach these, you put a squiggle of construction adhesive there and then along where it'll go. A little dab because it's a little bit thicker than this. A little dab there. On top. And slide it into this. I'm going to tap it in just so it gets nice and squished against the construction adhesive. That's it. To cut this block of concrete without any power tools or anything fancy, let me show you how. A brick chisel. Grab your hammer, got a speed square and a Sharpie. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. Just 
structure is built, it's finished, it is great, solid. On the to-do list, I am going to fill it with sand to get all in between the gravel, lock it in place, put a little more gravel just because I bought an extra bag and I'm not gonna return it for $4. So I'm just gonna throw that in there for extra drainage and then I need to coat the outside with the surface bonding cement. Hope I have enough because I only have a half a bag left from last time and the store doesn't have any more. They had one bag when I went and it was rock solid. So it has to have gotten wet and just hardened. So I am not buying that and no store near me has it. So I don't know, but that's on the list. And then once the coating is finished, I'll fill it with some of this dirt, not all of it. Cause I want to get nice, fresh, um, nutrient rich soil for the new plants. And I'm going to plant my plants and we'll be done. I should have put the sand on top of the pebbles before I put any cinder blocks down, but I forgot, so we're doing it now. Safety first. This is going to produce a lot of dust and that is not good for your lungs. this really small trowel because I don't have a lot and I'm trying to be very precise and not waste any. I really don't think I'm gonna have enough but I'm trying to make it work. The bed's done. Is all of this? No, I have to get rid of all of that, but it'll be fine. But this is done. I did run out of the surface bonding cement. So I have some touch up to do, but that's not in stock anywhere. So this is gonna have to do for the time being. Whenever it comes back in stock, I will finish it up and do my touch up, but is what it is at this point. <laughs> I love that this bed now matches that bed like it did before, but I think it just looks so sleek and nice. They're gonna stay white for now. Um, the other one is starting to like discolor, just get dirty really, not discolor. Um, but I wanted to see how it would weather. I know it's white, I know it's outdoors, but I wanted to see how it, we how it would weather, what it would look like, and maybe I'll paint it in the future. Not today, not today. Make sure you are subscribed and like this video if you haven't already. And we'll be back next time with another fun DIY or some other stuff we're doing. I don't know what's next. Bye.